Yo, yo, man, yo, fuck what you going to be fan double seven, nigga, man. Shout out to fucking angry fan movement. Yo, Cassidy, nigga, yeah, you. What the fuck are you going to do, bro? I'm, I'm getting tight of this shit. Like, you sitting around, you talking about how fucking trash this nigga shotgun sugars, but you ain't going to battle this nigga. Not only you not battling this nigga, but you're not even sending a shot. This nigga made two diss songs coming at you. You ain't even send a shot at this nigga. Now, granny, Chubby Jag fucking destroyed shotgun sugar in that motherfucking track. I'm not going to front. The best joint out so far is Chubby Jags. He really fucked Sugar up. But my nigga, guess what? Sugar came right back with another fire track right after Chubby Jags joint dropped. Like, him and Jay. And that, and that shit was crap. The only thing I didn't like was Jay's voice, how it switched from Sugar voice to Jay voice. But even Jay's bars was dope. But I didn't think like the, the monotone voice. But still, what you gonna do, my nigga? Like, you, let me tell you something, Pete. Because you tripping right now. Your last battle versus Diz was not that good, my nigga. Don't get too crazy because you think you beat Diz and shit. Like, oh, I beat Diz. And nah, my nigga. That wasn't a good battle. In fact, like, like you got to go three times as hard your next battle because that is not a watchable battle. Niggas don't care about that battle. Niggas don't care about that shit. See, you getting caught up in this money shit. Like, you got paid so you feel like you won. What about the niggas who want to see Legendary Cassidy? I actually think you fucked your name up coming back to battle Diz because now niggas is looking like, damn, this nigga lost it. So what the fuck are you going to do? You ain't that Hollywood that you can't send a shot at Shotgun Shook. This is my point right here. You want motherfucking Smack to give you this chicken and shit. What are you doing in order to get this shit? You ain't promoting the motherfucking thing. I mean, yeah, you you, you saying little slick shit here and there. But I mean, what are you doing? Why don't you drop a, drop a fucking a, a song dissing everybody in the industry? Why don't you do something to get the buzz around you so that somebody might want to actually give you that bread? You just sitting back doing nothing ain't going to get you the money. Period. And to be real with you, niggas really don't give a fuck that much about you battling due to your last battle any fucking way. So I don't know why the fuck you ain't responding to shit. This shit don't make no fucking sense to me at all, B. And if you really don't give a fuck about shit like that, why don't you fucking pay for Jag to fucking battle this nigga? Why don't, don't y'all niggas get, get your money up and on some winner take all type shit? Why don't y'all do that if y'all so fucking nice? I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, everybody's sitting back waiting for a nigga to just hand them bread. Like, they don't see what the fuck is going on with all these goddamn... Venues being shut down and shit like that. Hey, come on, my nigga. What, what y'all gonna do? What are y'all gonna do? I hear all of this, but what are y'all gonna do? At least Sugar's dropping disses on you niggas and shit. Y'all niggas ain't even do... Besides Jack, Cash, you ain't even doing that. You ain't even doing that. I don't get that shit, my nigga. And another thing, I don't wanna... And, and, and for the record, I wanna clear this shit up too because I don't want you to run with this shit. Don't say, yeah, he can't even beat Jack because I don't know if you can actually beat Jack. And that's real right there. I, I don't know if you could beat Jag. There's plenty of tracks that you have been on with Jag where Jags has had a better verse than you. Let's not forget that Woe beat, the 2K11. I, I've been listening to you niggas for a minute. There's plenty of tracks Jag bodied you on that you was on and shit. So let's not run with the whole he can't even get past Jag shit either. End of the fucking day, my nigga, you need to do something, B. Stop sitting back, talking about I'm waiting for the chicken, I'm waiting for the chicken. You ain't doing nothing for that shit. No one's impressed with your last battle. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, you got niggas out here saying you can't even beat Shook. Like, it's that real right now. You got niggas out here saying you can't even beat him. That's how unimpressed these niggas was with your last battle. So come down off that fucking high horse you on and understand, my nigga, you a regular battler right now if you come back. You ain't that Mr. Chicken nigga no more. You was before we all seen that you lost it some. You was then. You not now. Why the fuck would these niggas give you all this bread after seeing your last performance? I mean, we gotta really start thinking here and shit. That would just be stupid to just hand you that bread any fucking way right now. There gotta be more in it, bro. You either, you gotta start dropping diss songs, you gotta start, you gotta start doing everything to get your buzz back up so that niggas would wanna see you because mad niggas don't even give a fuck if you come back or not right now. They, they really don't. Only reason why we talking about that shit is because it's battle rap, it's a dry spell, and, and, and you, you made one or two things about shit. You made an Instagram video about the nigga and shit, and, and you did Forbes DVD, which was a crazy interview. Shout out to Doggy Down with a fire interview. But that's the only reason why we even talking about this shit, my nigga. Like, other than that, man, we ain't, we ain't impressed with your last battle, man. Fuck that shit. What you gonna do, B? We ain't impressed with your shit, man. Fuck that Mr. Chicken shit, man. Fuck that shit, B. You gonna come back what, nigga? I mean, fuck that. You wanna fire battle if you come back, man. Don't run over there and try to battle fucking Sharon or no shit like that either, B. You know where the fuck niggas wanna see you battle at, B. You need to be getting your ass on your own balance of my They don't got a hundred grand old fucking well, nigga. Take a fucking payment plan and saying, fuck that shit, B. You told me Mr. Chicken, you got it. Got everybody fucking waiting for nothing and shit. Y'all niggas is wild with this business shit and, uh oh, the business gotta be right, yo. And, and Mook, you see what they saying about you. You already see what they saying about you. We have Mook Manager coming on, it's about to be uploading and shit, and it's just like, I'm sure he's breaking down why 
Mook is worth 100 grand. But he did say that the price is negotiable. So it's not 100 grand flat. You know what I'm saying? They're down to, 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 to bring it down some if it makes sense, of course. And it's just like, bro, like, Mook, your next battle got to be fire too, my nigga. Like, like, we don't want no battles that don't got no replay value no more. We don't, we don't, we don't. You know what I'm saying? Period. You know what I'm saying? He definitely... See, think about Mook. This nigga, five old Iron Solomon. Then he three old Lux. So it's just like, you really can't get too crazy because... The object of battle rap is to beat your opponent, and clearly the niggas been doing that. You know what I'm saying? It's just that the, some of the replay value is just gone. Like, what the fuck is point of the point of having a battle that don't nobody want to watch over and over and over again? That's my whole thing. Like, it, there's no replay value in them battles like that. I will go to sleep if I try to watch Mook versus Iron Simon. I dead ass seriously will go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I don't know, B. But at the end of the day, man, y'all niggas who, who want uh, fucking Jay Mills asking for 100000 like, y'all niggas might want to just go back and continue doing what y'all want to do. Because at the end of the day, like, I'm realizing you niggas don't need battle rap any fucking way. Y'all don't need the shit. So if you don't need it, if you're already, you're already good money, then why are you coming back to bleed the shit? You're bleeding all the income out of it so you can run back and do what the fuck you want to do. And then when you sit back and you see niggas making bread again, you're going to try to come back. That's all it's looking like niggas is doing this shit when it takes you two, three years to do a battle. That's what the fuck it looks like to me. Fuck that shit, man. You got niggas taking fucking 15 battles a goddamn year and shit. 20 battles a year. I'm just saying, man. Niggas is wildness. Cassie, why don't you fucking on some fun shit battle jag? Or I don't fucking know. Do something, man. All you fucking battlers hanging around each other. Y'all can just throw some shit on the internet just to get niggas hyped real quick. Y'all can do that. Y'all don't even be, be fucking be, be, be doing shit to get your own buzz up. Y'all just want fucking niggas to just hand y'all bread. What are y'all doing for it? The fuck, Cassie, drop a diss song. What are you waiting for? Make niggas say, oh shit, Cassie's back. Yeah, bar's back. It'll look better for you than us just hearing you fucking talk. And the only thing we going by is your fucking diss battle. We like the diss impersonation. Ooh, wow. Okay, we got it. You, you impersonated diss. It was dope. Okay. What else, Cassie? What the fuck else did you do in that battle, my nigga? Be real with yourself here. That's all I got to say, man. I got some more blogs coming. Let me know what y'all niggas think, man. Y'all want this nigga to come back? Well, I mean... I mean where are we at at this point here? What are we doing at this point? Cause we're like, like we're sitting here watching these niggas ask for mad bread. I don't see no fucking blogs from these niggas. I don't really see nothing from these niggas. They not hype enough enough to the point that niggas are even interested in seeing them battle. Niggas, niggas is just the dead ass he's saying now. If Mook ain't battling, then they don't want to hear from this nigga no more. Period. It's to that point. Niggas is like he got so many interviews out, but no battles it doesn't even make sense. He got more interviews and battles. What everybody's fucking saying. So it's just like, bro. So ain't gonna have to change, B. We hear all this, we ready to start seeing some y'all niggas battle rap. And then, it's a dry spell right now, any motherfucking way. Y'all see what's going on, URL shit got pushed back and all this crazy. Hey, yo, B, hold up. Let me say this too, B. Let me say this too. All right? Because you niggas know that URL and RBE is on the same motherfucking day. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what, what, what event would you go to first? Now. I just seen the Beasley um interview and shit. And Beasley talking about fucking uh uh he's gonna add like two battles. I think he said uh one with two up and comers, the other's gonna be somewhat known names. So it's gonna be either five or six battles. Now they got Sue Surf and Tay Rock is going to be battling NWX. John Jenner Don is battling Big T. T Top is battling Mav, and Bridge Rothstein is battling Shotgun Shook. Now on the other card, you know what I'm saying. You got Show Off is battling Big K. And Show Off, like, like, you, you don't want to what? Because I see a lot of controversy around you. Show Off, I dare you to fucking beat Big K. Man. I don't think you could do it. And you nice. I don't think you could fucking do it, man. Fuck that shit, B. Fuck that shit. You want motivation? I'll give you motivation. Big K is going to beat Show Off, B. I'm saying it. I fuck with Show Off. They've been in my crib before. I fuck with Show Off, B. I fuck with you, Show Off. I got Big K, man. You got to show me you could beat Big K. Uh, Jim, same with you and Sirius Jones. Now, I actually think. Jens has a real good motherfucking, um, a, a real good chance of being Sirius Jones. Because I think Sirius Jones is just totally sleeping on this nigga right now. I know for a fact Jens is hungry. But here's my thing to you two niggas. Show off and Jens. Y'all got to understand, y'all the fucking captains of RBE and shit. Like, niggas is coming to see y'all niggas. Y'all are the captains of this boat right here. With RBE as far as the battles are concerned. Free Adi Boom is Adi Boom. It's show off. It's Jens. You know what I'm saying? I see Oops retired and shit. Uh, uh, but it's, it's, it's y'all niggas, bro. So y'all gonna have to start turning the fuck up. Y'all can't just be these, these regular ballots. Y'all gotta be some super top tier ballots in RBE. If y'all gonna be over there really repping that shit, holding that shit down. I mean, this is a war. 
It's just two fucking events the same day. Y'all know RBE and you all don't like each other. So y'all niggas got to do your thing, real shit. You got Jay Murder and fucking Daylight. I think that's going to be a fire battle. I actually, dead ass seriously, just finished watching, um, I just finished watching Jay Murder versus Big Hand. Slept on battle. I know I'm mad late. Slept on battle right there. I think Jay Murder has a good chance of beating Daylight. Jay Murder got crazy ass one-liners. Oh, man, I am tripping. Daylight was just wilding his last couple of battles. Yo. This is going to be a good battle. I got to see how Daylight comes. I don't want Daylight to come like he came versus Philly Swain with that type of aggression because that's what Jay Murder is bringing. Him and Big Hand, that was, they niggas was on each other. Like, I want to see Daylight go back to that Daylight. Fuck all that bar shit. I'm going to see you get aggressive with this shit too. That one right there, damn, that's going to be a good battle. I got Daylight 2-1. Fuck that. I, Jay Murder, same for you. Fuck that because I ain't forget that Cortez battle. You been doing good though, but I ain't forget that Cortez battle. I'm still mad at that. So I got motherfucking... um. They like 2-1. Then they got QB and official. This gonna be a fire-ass battle right here. I don't know how I just jumped into the RBE joint, but fuck it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be a fire battle right here. We all know, like, QB's not a legend. She's a pioneer in this shit. And it's like, QB's mad cool with C3. A lot of people got official beating C3, even though it was a fucking classic-ass battle. So it's like... And then, uh, QB was supposed to just battle Rex. We all seen that thing go down. So this is like... Yo, this might be the best, like, QB, you gotta show this up. You battling official, fuck that shit, B. You know official will punch your motherfucking head off, but this is a Mike Tyson game or some shit. So you better come with some shit. Don't come with no corny-ass jokes and shit. You need to get on that fucking, that torture shit that you, you know how you fucking do. Talking about aborting her child and all that shit with a hanger. Like, you rap like that. Like, that's the shit that I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna be real with you. I got official, I got, um... I got QB21, I fuck with QB style. Her style is real fucking gritty and grimy. And she almost beat Jazz too back in the day. Like, niggas kind of slept on QB, man. I got QB21 in this one. She's just different. You know what I'm saying? And they got JC and Mr. Mills. Now, look, JC and Mr. Mills, that's definitely going to be a bar fest right there. I don't even fucking know because Mr. Mills is super underrated. Like, this nigga is... And I got JC, Mr. Mill, show me what you got, B. I got JC, man. What am I even talking about? JC is just fucking nice with it. I, I, I just, I guess I will never understand what happened to JC. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand he was, like, wilding at one point, taking fucking two battles a day, damn near, it seemed like. But it's just, like, with a nigga with a pen like that, for a nigga to not say this nigga's top five or, or even top ten is really utterly disgusting to me. You know what I'm saying? It's utterly the fucking disgusting to me and shit. It, it, it just is what it is, B. So at the end of the day, those are the two cards you got. You know what I'm saying? You you, uh, you don't know what the other two matchups or one matchup your bro has. But I think it is a good look that they added on. You know what I'm saying? To the card and shit. So it's just like, yo. I don't know, man. Who, you, who do you niggas want to see first? I mean, I mean, if you had your last... Fuck, you done your last dollar and you had to go to an event. Would it be the URL event or would it be the RBE event? You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to know. I'm going to be totally real true. I, I kind of thought there was neck and neck for a minute. I automatically gave it the gun titles and um and the everybody wants to see Tay Rock and Sue Sir plus the last controversy so you gotta throw that up there from the door boom but I don't think none of the other three battles match up to Big K and Show Off to me you know what I'm saying to be honest with you I want to see Big K versus Show Off if they was in order Big K versus Show Off would be second only behind the Sue Sir and Tay Rock and and to be real truth for me that's neck and neck I'm not really going that crazy over that no more. I'm not really the biggest two on two fan. I get why they're doing it and all that it makes sense. So I'm interested in seeing it. I'm not even gonna front like I don't. But this big K and show up, man. I gotta see this shit right here. You know what I'm saying? The daylight J Murder is gonna be fire. Q being official is gonna be fire. JC and Mr. Mills is gonna be fire. So it's just like, but then again, I think Math and T Top is gonna be a sleeper right there. That's gonna be a fire ass battle. I think it looks kind of weird. Uh, when you say it, but like, I think when it, when it turns out, it's going to be crazy. And that's the same thing, I think, for Briz and Shug, too. On paper, it looked kind of crazy and shit. But I think, like, the way Shug been, been turning up and the way Briz been turning up, I think it might be a good battle. And the Big T and John John, I got John John winning unless, like, Big T, like, really goes in his bag and shit. He, like, it's too up and down for me and shit. I'm, whoa, pause. I'm, whatever. I'm just saying, it's just that he, he be fucking, sometimes he's good, sometimes he's wax. So I don't know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day... Let me know which event you niggas would go to. And let me know what y'all think about Cassidy and Mook, man. Fuck with me, nigga. Hey, from the fuck up. Happy Father's Day to all you ugly ass niggas out there. You know what I'm saying? Fucking. Frank, nigga. Not you niggas don't fucking be around and shit, man. Fuck you niggas. Hey, from the fuck up, nigga. I got a recap coming in a couple of hours, nigga. I'm out of here, nigga. One.